What is going on everyone? Welcome to the video. Uh, before we get into the video, if you guys don't know, if you missed the video like a couple of weeks ago, I came out with an ebook recently. It's called The Beginner's Blueprint to Diet and Training. The link is in the description box below. And since you YouTube followers, you, I feel like you're the most loyal because you've been with me for the longest amount of time. So if you guys are interested in the ebook, Use the code YouTube, I'm putting it on the screen, you'll get 25% off. You'll only have this code if you're watching this video right now. So that's YouTube, capital, all capitals, like you see on the screen. That'll give you 25% off on the ebook. If you click the link, you can get a free uh, preview before you purchase it. I recommend it, it's pretty good. Anyway, right now we are headed to our favorite restaurant. I'm gonna pause for five seconds and let you figure that out. It's Pollo's. A Colombian place uh, we've been there a few times haven't been there in a couple of months but if they have the best food by far the only reason we don't go that often is because we always have to wait but we're gonna wait we're gonna be there soon and we'll show you the food that we get see you there And there is a line already out the door, so it's gonna be a while. Alright guys, so this is probably the best meal that we've had anywhere, not just here, but anywhere. We got here a sirloin steak, it's smothered in caramelized onions, there's some plantains, and then don't underrate the white rice and the pinto beans because they are amazing. So we're going to eat this right now. We're starving. I'm gonna put the camera away, but we will catch up to you for some froyo and hail top after dinner. And the reason I get hail top is because we still have a lot of damage to do. That's on the door, and then back there, you can see we still have more. So I will be having cookies and cream today. Here we go. You gotta put it in the microwave though for about 40 seconds. Throw the cap away because I'm not a quitter. So we got the Halo Top 40 seconds in the microwave. Paula got some Froyo. Birthday cake with yogurt chips, crushed Oreos, whipped cream. What do you call this again? A piece of cone <laughs> and cheesecake bites. So I will show you me trying it on camera even though I've had it a million times. Tastes better with the spoon. Also makes you eat slower so it lasts longer. And it is very good. Cookies and cream Halo Top is the best flavor hill top. So that's gonna wrap up the night and I will see you at the gym for my workout. I'll either show you deadlifts or overhead press. Leaning towards overhead press because it's been a while. So I'll see you there. What's going on guys? Welcome to the workout. So if you've noticed, I actually haven't filmed my overhead press workout in a while. And that's because typically this workout is a little bit more difficult to film. Um, the overhead press due to the angle. I can't really film it myself easily without getting weird angles. And all the other exercises I do, there's really no good way to film the exercises. So I typically try not to film this unless I have Paula with me. So she was there today or for this workout and that's why she filmed it. So I usually post my other upper body workout which is my bench day. And that one is a little bit more focused on, I guess you could say free weights. Not that this has no free weights, but I use a little bit more machines. And since I start with overhead press, um, it's a little bit more shoulder dominant, I guess you could say. But regardless, I do hit my upper body twice per week. Once on bench day, once on overhead press day. This is obviously the overhead press day. Um, so if you saw, oh, but also this is the threes week on 531, so I had to do three plus on that other set. I got 165 for four. Typically if I do 165, I get five reps, but ever since I got back from vacation, I still don't feel like my strength has really gotten back to where it was. So I still feel a little bit weaker. Um, so I got four reps there. And then what I did on the two back down sets you see here, this is 145 pounds, which is the same weight I did on my second set. And I matched the amount that I got on the AMRAP set of four on that. So I did four reps on those two back down sets. And then you'll see here, I'm going to take you through the rest of my workout. I do three sets on pretty much all these accessories, including the lat pull downs you see here with that cool ladder attachment. This was 12 to 15 reps on my accessories. 
my least favorite one by far. I hate doing high reps like that, but I do feel that it's necessary to incorporate some of the high rep ranges, so I end up doing that about once per month. It happens to be this workout, and you'll see everything else afterwards. Um, yeah, I think it's three sets and everything. It's five sets of overhead press. Actually, I'll take that back. It's four sets of lat pull downs. Then it's three sets on everything besides like one machine that I'll point out when I get to it. Um, so the topic of the video that I wanted to discuss, it's about overtraining and really how much volume you should do in general. Now, I think the term overtraining is completely misused. Um, people use overtraining, but they don't really mean overtraining a lot of the times when they say it. In my opinion, it's very difficult to actually overtrain. And what actual overtraining is, it's a, it's a state of your body where your central nervous system is completely fatigued and you'll actually start losing strength. You won't feel very well. It won't just be in the gym, but you actually won't feel very well. You'll feel very drained all the time um, because you just you beat up your body so, so much that your nervous system and your whole body is just completely fatigued. So that's what overtraining actually is. But a lot of people think that overtraining is just like if you do two extra, two sets too many on a certain body part. And in my opinion, there's really no such thing as doing too much. I mean, you could potentially do, it's really, I guess, I don't like saying this, but it's not really overtraining. I guess it's under recovering. I don't really think there's any amount that's too much, but everyone could handle a different amount. And it really comes down to whether you're recovering enough from it. So personally... I got asked this question the other day, how much volume do I do per body part? So I never actually really thought about it, but I thought about it since I got asked the question. And I realized that I do about 12 to 16 sets uh, throughout the week on each body part. And I could definitely get away with more than that, and I could probably even get away with less than that. But it comes to a point where it's not necessarily that you have to, you're overtraining, but you're just doing the amount that you no longer receive any additional benefit, if that makes sense. So. I'm doing maybe let's say 16 sets a week for quads. I could potentially do maybe 20 sets a week for quads. I wouldn't necessarily be overtraining, but I also wouldn't really be getting any additional benefit from that because you come to a point where you get diminishing returns. You're putting in extra effort, but you're not really getting anything out of it. And I just want to pause for a second. So this machine, I guess you want to call it a seal row machine. It's pretty new, or it's not even a machine. It's just a cool bar and a cool little contraption, but it's basically a seal row contraption. I like it a lot. Uh, the gym just got this a little bit a little while ago. Uh, I've always wanted to do seal rows, but they're kind of a difficult to set up. So that bar and that little thing really helps you do that. I only do two sets on that thing uh, with a drop set, whereas everything else you see is three sets. So back to overtraining. I just want to wrap that up a little bit. So I guess in my opinion, overtraining is a real thing, but it's really not going to apply to a lot of people. You could do as many sets as you want if you really enjoy being in the gym. As long as you feel fine, you're eating enough, you're recovering, there's nothing wrong with doing a, a ton of sets for back. It's just that, let's say, for example, you're doing 30 sets for back. I highly doubt you'll be overtraining as long as you're eating enough. But the thing is, you might, even though you're doing 30 sets for back, you, you might be getting the same results if you, get, if you did 20 sets for the week for back. So you could do as much as you want if you really enjoy training. Doing more, it might not necessarily be better. But I really don't think it hurts. And if you really think you're overtraining, you'll know because you'll start feeling run down and drained. You'll start losing strength. That's how you know if you're overtraining. But for the most part, you're not most likely overtraining. If you really want to be in the gym, you enjoy doing a high, high volume, that's fine. You might, you'll probably actually receive some extra benefit over someone like me who does uh, lower volume. But at the same time, you're not going to get the the amount of sets you're doing isn't going to produce the amount of benefit as the amount of time you're putting, if that makes sense. So like I said earlier, the term diminishing returns, you might get some extra benefit, but it comes to a point where you don't really need to do any more because you're already receiving most of the benefit you're going to get. But in terms of overtraining, I think it's overrated. Haha, <laughs> overtraining, overrated. Um, and I don't think it really applies to people too often. And I think a lot of people throw around the term when they don't really know what it means and it doesn't really apply. But anyway, this workout's coming to an end. If you guys liked the video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. If you saw the beginning of the video, use the code YouTube, click the, for a discount on my ebook. You can click that in the description box below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you guys in the next video.